Kia ora everybody, welcome back to City News. Well, volcanic kitchens time now. It's not describing my kitchen, which is often volatile, but it is describing a beautiful new book created by locals, for locals, and anybody in the country that appreciates our beautiful region and the beautiful food that we get to eat. I'm joined now by Henry and Gerhard Egger, and uh, they are the writers and producers of this beautiful book. Kia ora Kōrua, thank you for being here. Morning. Thank you for coming. Well, us. Henry, can we start with you? Yes. Your husband and wife. Yes. Where did this idea come from? Um, my husband Gerhard is the photographer. He's a photographer, and we'd been wanting for some time to um, do a book. And we also were looking at different community projects, and um, we came across a similar idea that had been done in Littleton as a fundraiser for the community there, and thought that we could do something similar for Rotorua. So we've um, collated basically this book, included Gerhard's photographs, and asked for recipes from the community. I was just going to ask where the recipes came from. I thought perhaps maybe if he's taking the pictures, maybe you're making the food. No, definitely not. <laughs> so um, you, mm. you've said that you got some of these from the community. Yes. How long did it take to, to do this? Um, we started the book about this time last year, I think. Um, getting the recipes was the hardest part of it, really. People, you know, didn't want to. We contacted um, everybody that we knew um, and also we contacted people from Rotorua um, who had done well. So um, the likes of Buck Shelford has um, provided something, um, Tim Beveridge has provided us a recipe um, and then where we didn't have enough recipes or we had gaps to fill, um, we put in some of our own. Oh, lovely. Mm. Well, Gerhard, you are a photographer and is every photo in this book yours? Every single one except one. One of it is uh, Henry's. So, yes, it was an extensive work. There's lots and lots and lots of photographs in there and it's been through the season. So it's a very high production value of photographs. So it's not just snapshots. So we, we really did put a lot of effort into the photographs. Tell me what some of your favorite ones are. Oh, very hard to say. Um, yes, uh, I like landscape photography. But many years ago, I'm actually a trained chef, and I left school a trained chef as a chef, and um, so I like a lot of food photography. I do a lot of food photography and landscape photography. So I haven't got a favorite as such, but our landscape is so fantastic. Like you get Pahutu, and you get some of the lakes. Yeah, no real favorite. Yeah, they're all, I like them all, to be honest. So was this a labor of love? Definitely. Mm. It's. Um, because we have put so much time into it, uh, it is not a commercial proposition. You couldn't pay for it if you would have to hire staff. So we've done it all in-house. We've done the food styling. We've done the design of the book, the editing. We had a consultant editor, um, Shona Channings. She used to be Rotorua. She helped us. She used to be editor of a magazine. Um, but that's about the only outside help we've had. So you really got to keep the production costs down. Otherwise, it's just not feasible. So. So it's called Volcanic Kitchens, and, and did it was it based solely in Rotorua? Did you go out any further into Tauranga or any of the surrounding the, areas? The photographs, we've taken the story of the Vol Taupo Volcanic Plateau, basically, so from um, White Island through to Tongariro. So um, White Island is one of the double pages in spring going through to the Tongariro National Park in winter. So the story evolves through the Taupo Volcanic Plateau, but most of the images are from the wider Rotorua area and the lakes. Speaking of story, you just mentioned there that you had a couple of seasons in here. Tell me how you've worked seasons into this book, because it's a beautiful mix of our wonderful area and also the lovely food mm. that we get to eat here. Tell me about Tell me about that. Well, many areas in New Zealand don't get those beautiful seasons like we have. We get the cold winters, like we've got a bad, uh, up in the Mamacus actually, was the last snowfall and it was bitterly cold. And I still remember going around and said, ooh. And uh, so we worked the seasons in because we, are, as a city, as an area, we're very seasonal. And we thought, well, that is a good start. And the food does change over the season. I mean, you probably wouldn't eat a boil up on a, on a hot day. So we. we we thought that is a really good start and that's how we came and worked along the seasons because the seasons change, the food changes with the season. 
Okay, what are some of the uh, the most favourite dishes that you've got in there? What are some of the real corkers that you've got in this book? Mm. I don't know about corkers. Um, the ones that I love us are um, we've got Arita Kofi cooking down at the Marae, and you know, and she uses you know I don't know how many eggs, and you know, like she's done it in the big quantities. I love that page. Yeah, um, she's got her steam pudding and her pavlova. Um, Somebody in the kit, you wouldn't go home and cook in those quantities, but it's, I, I love it because it's an essence of what they do down there. And, um, yeah. and you're going to be helping to support that. So, just finally, now let's yes. talk about the support that you are giving. How can the community benefit from this? Well, it will be available at um, McLeod's bookshops and other bookshops and retailers in the city, but we are offering it to community groups who register it with us. Um, that they can purchase it from uh, purchase the book from us at wholesale and then raise money um, by selling it at a retail price. Wonderful. Yeah, so. Absolutely lovely mm. initiative. It is a lovely book. Thank you so much for coming in. It's been a pleasure to talk to you both about it. I wish we had longer because there is so much in there, but uh, people will just have to get out and get but, it. Mm. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Uh, you just mentioned where it's available. Is that, There's also a website. There's also a the website, back. yes, www.volcaniccitchens.co.nz. So that we will be available will, on there. Yes, there will be more information, and the people who would sell it in the organisation will be listed there so if you've got a preferred organization have a look if they're there or otherwise just go to McLeod's. Great thank you very much both okay. of you for your time. Thanks, thank you. Debbie. Well everybody do get out and see if you can track that book down it is beautiful I had a look through it before we did the interview and it is stunning and some of those dishes whew, make you hungry. Okay well thank you very much for your time this evening we look forward to seeing you again next time in the meantime have a wonderful night. Bon Mardi. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.